I was thinking the other day about nanotechnology and nanomaterials. We are in an era of amazing innovation in the field of nanotechnology with the promise of super strong materials, biosensors to detect viruses, even nanorobots, ultra small machines. But is nanotechnology just another name for chemistry? Are they the same thing or are they different? The discovery of Buckminster Fullerene in 1985 was a landmark for nanotechnology. This is a sphere formed by interlocking carbon atoms, which can encapsulate other atoms or functionalize by forming a chemical bond to one of the carbons. Grow a fullerene in one dimension and you have a carbon nanotube, 100 times stronger than steel and ultra light weight. Carbon nanotubes can be spun into long fibers with high strength and high electrical and thermal conductivity, characteristics that we usually associate with metals, not carbon. The two dimensional fullerene is graphene, a sheet of carbon a single atom thick optically transparent and electrically conductive. Graphene can be deposited onto silicon wafers to create electronic devices. Nanorobots may one day work inside our bodies to detect and destroy tumors or flow through our bloodstream to clear blood clots. All of these things are part of nanotechnology. So how is it different than chemistry? Nanotechnology concerns the arrangement of atoms in a defined structure to give a material with desirable characteristics, such as the optical and electrical properties of graphene. And chemistry involves the arrangement of atoms in a specific structure to give a substance with certain characteristics too. Hmm. In terms of size, nanostructures are defined as having one dimension between one nanometer and 100 nanometers. To put this into perspective, a glucose molecule is roughly one nanometer across, and a coronavirus is roughly 100 nanometers in diameter, so nanostructures are between this range. However, chemical structures are in that size range also. Antibiotic medicines, peptides, and heme, the molecule that carries oxygen in the blood, although much smaller than a virus, are one nanometer to a few nanometers across. Size alone does not distinguish between a nanomaterial and a chemical compound. One factor that may allow us to distinguish between nanotechnology and chemistry is the function which they serve. Nanotechnology is directed towards the development of engineered materials to make structures or devices and take advantage of desirable physical properties, such as the incredible strength of carbon nanotubes or the transparency and conductive properties of graphene. In contrast, when we talk about chemical compounds, for example, this caffeine molecule or a drug or a catalyst, we're thinking about a molecule intended to interact with other molecules or macromolecules in specific ways to achieve an outcome, such as the mild stimulant in coffee, a life-saving medicine, or a compound catalyzing a chemical reaction. It seems there is no obvious division between chemistry and nanotechnology. The world of nanotechnology is subsumed by chemistry and it touches on many other disciplines too. Material science, optics, electronics, photonics, and medicine. We're looking forward to further advances in nanotechnology to transform our lives. If you have thoughts on this topic, please leave them in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to Science Sketch. Thank you.